Thanks for sticking here through post-lunch. Um, I'm Shadi Saba. I am a doctoral candidate at the USC School of Social Work, and I'm going to be talking to you about some of our work predicting trajectories of um, hazardous drinking among military veterans. Oh. So hazardous drinking is defined as drinking that puts somebody at risk of negative health or social consequences. So by definition, kind of a, uh, you know, something people want to avoid. Um, but prevalence among veterans, military veterans, is really, really high, um, with some epidemiological work suggesting lifetime prevalence as high as 40%. And among people that have suffered uh, or, or have had hazardous drinking, uh, many folks, you know, recover either naturally or through treatment, but many people don't recover or, or, or have a really hard time recovering. So there's some heterogeneity. And when we want to think about why that might be the case, um, you know, I personally like to look to models like these. I think this is uh, common in, in social work and in the health sciences generally. The biopsychosocial model, which suggests these are really complex problems with a range of determinants. And so, you know, among veterans, this is really relevant because veterans have had really challenging physical experiences that might lead to uh, mental health problems, and such mental health problems might influence drinking. Um, as well as like injuries and things like that. And we know that among populations, veteran populations, like many other populations, kind of social determinants um, interact with many of those things. So things like poverty, um, area level factors, for example. And so the research question um, that we have is, you know, what are the, thinking back to that really complex model, <clears throat> what are the things that most affect the course of hazardous drinking among veterans? And then, um, when we think about that model, you know, it's hard to, it's maybe hard to tease out like what's most important and then how do these factors kind of interact with one another. So the data source for this study um, is a two-year cohort study led by Dr. Davis and Dr. Eric Peterson. Um, we recruited um, over 1,200 veterans and, and this study involves a subset of those that met criteria for hazardous drinking, um, surveyed six times over two years. And like I said, we're, we want to start to get out what are the predictors of, of, of how people do over two years, sort of the course of hazardous drinking. And um, the characteristics in terms of demographics are pretty standard for um, military veterans of this age. So, you know, really highly skewed male and, and, and white. In terms of individual level predictors, um, we had a lot of things in the study survey that was administered. Um, and so again, thinking back to that biopsychosocial model, you know, all these things you can make a case for um, either theoretically or empirically for including and in, in, in like as we think about, you know, what might might drive or, or, or contribute to or explain associations. So things like demographics, military experiences, ranch, uh, branch, um, uh, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder, psychological problems, et cetera. And then we also um, were able to access, based on participant zip codes, a bunch of area level predictors or potential predictors, I should say. So um, kind of area level disadvantage from the US Census. These um, data sets called the Opportunity Atlas and Social Capital Atlas are really, really rich data sets that um, you know, have to do with, with how folks um, may, may have access to economic mobility and job growth and things like that. And then I was able to access um, VA wait time search um, uh, you know, to get it, to get out how do how do people, what kind of access do people have to healthcare services? And um, the modeling strategy that that we use in this study is um it's called structural equation modeling for us. And it merges um one of the you know modeling families that we use a lot in the social sciences known as structural equation modeling. Um, and in a kind of nutshell, um that allows us to uh, model hazardous the, the trajectory so intercept and slope for the sample and then we and then um, SEM trees or structural equation modeling trees um, allows us to partition the sample into subgroups based on predictors and then forest is kind of an uh, MCM forest is an ensemble method um, combining you know thousands of trees potentially and to help us get at what are the most robust and important predictors and so um, with that modeling approach these were the top ranked predictors uh, of the ones that we included in our models. And um, I'm gonna kind of take these top three. So, you know, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, and, and a kind of combat experience called moral injury, which is when somebody has an experience that sort of messes with their sense of their own or other people's, people's morality. And so you can kind of imagine why that might 
um, be something that mil military veterans face. And so it might be challenging to, to see this with the color, but basically that top trajectory um, is folks with all three that kind of meet criteria for all three of those things. The bottom line is folks that, that don't have any of those three. And then what's really interesting is that green line that starts near the top, um, but kind of diverges from the top line where, where people just have anxiety and PTSD. And that kind of tells us that perhaps there's kind of a uh, cumulative um, risk going on where folks that have both challenging combat experiences and um, uh, difficult symptomology may be at most risk. And so when you're a program, um, you know, running a program or you're a clinician, models like these can help us maybe start to untangle potential risk factors and think about the most important ones. Um, and ultimately, you know, we can, this, this kind of modeling um, is probably broadly applicable in helping us to start to get at more hypothesis um, centered and driven research. Um, and so, yeah, that's all I got.